Okay, so I just looked up TCM5 elements on Yandex, and of course these are the traditional Chinese 5 elements. Now of course your Western 5 elements works as well, but I wanted to kind of use this and to describe it. Let's get into this. Now, of course fire means your heart and your small intestines and we can see here it leads into the earth which is your stomach and your spleen leading into the metal being your lungs and your large intestines and mind you each of these so the lungs is the functional organ the large intestines is like the, the bladder or bowel organ similarly um, the stomach is like the bladder and bowel organ and the the spleen is functional, I believe, or the, for this, the heart is, you can think it's like the solid organ, and then the small intestines is like the storage or, or you know, hollow, and of course we have water being the bladder, being the, the hollow, and the kidneys being the solid, and for this wood, we have the liver being the solid, the functional, the kind of producer of you think bile, which is then stored in the gallbladder, which is then the supporter of the liver, right? Which you know, being the hollow organ. And you can think one leads into another. Uh, interesting thing with wood, of course, bile, it's kind of like an oil, it, it's, it's a substance to digest uh, oil so that's interesting and of course they say you know water, wood feeds fire fire feeds earth because it makes ash earth feeds metal because it grows metal metal feeds water because it condenses water water feeds wood because it you know, nourishes plants right then we have this pentacle here which basically is the controlling pentacle destroys is it i mean it technically is a good word but it's i like the word controls maybe what happens if you throw a bunch of water on fire? It you know, douses flame. What happens if you heat a bunch of metal? It starts to get red hot and you know, becomes molten. What happens if you chop wood? It gets you know chopped in half. What happens if you? I, I don't actually understand this one, but whatever. Just growing plants and earth, I guess. And I guess if you throw dirt on water, it kind of soaks it all up. So. In an abstract, in a non-abstract way, what that really means is that your sometimes you think, okay, you've got a heart issue. Do you really have a heart issue? Or is it that the other organs are putting too much pressure on the heart, either in a physical way, as in maybe your lungs are having trouble because your heart is putting pressure on the lungs, right? So the, the heart kind of controls the lungs, you can think in this way. They're very close physically. And if we look at anatomy, here we have this little anatomical diagram. You can see here the heart is very close to the lungs. It's also very close to the liver and to the stomach. And the kidneys are close to the liver, um, for example. So, physical pressure is an actual thing. Also, we can be talking about pressure of fluids. So, the train, you can think like these organs are transmuting fluids and their energies and their pressures and such in between them. And this diagram is essentially a, a nice little diagram that the, you know, the Chinese physicians gave us so, so that we can understand these transmutations, right? Maybe you have too much wood energy, which is then feeding your fire, and fire is becoming, you know, too much. You see a person who's like really red, maybe they've got too much wood. Maybe it's not actually a fire issue or a heart issue. It could be a liver issue. You know, anger, when people are very angry, they become very red. Anger is the emotion of the liver, of the wood organs, right? Kind of anxiety or too much. I think it's anxiety, but I'm not sure. Maybe anxiety is more related to the water. Um, too much like like pressure, too much, like, they say joy, but it's more like, you know, a person who's very unhinged, who's very kind of like, just, uh, too much energy, that's like fire. Earth is worry. 
you know, stresses and worries and like, you know, too overthinking. Metal is depression, kind of like lethargy, I guess. You know, deflatedness, like that, that lack of air pressure. And then um, anxiety is, excuse me, uh, fear, maybe anxiety, I'm not exactly sure, but fear is the water one, the water. And one thing you've got to realize is that the organs are like power centers. They're like magical power centers. If we go back here, the this internal torso region, and of course the head, is where all of your organs are. So this is the inner world. The outer world, you can see here, you've got your big arteries and muscles and bones and such. Muscles really kind of like the functional outer world. And if you train the muscles, the, the organs get stronger. Similarly, if you train the organs, you know, the muscles and the bones and the skin and the hair, etc., gets healthier and stronger. So they both work from one another. The inner and the outer world work together. If you do a lot of exercise with your limbs, like a lot of walking, or you do like your know, bench press, push-ups, pull-ups, whatever, you know, squats, you build a lot of heat and pressure and, and power, which then eventually goes inwards towards the organs. Similarly, if you eat food and you breathe and you, you know, you nourish the inner organs and such, it then goes out towards the body once it's filled in enough. So one thing you gotta understand is that Organs are incredibly profound and special and important. They are your basically your your magical centers, you know, so to speak. I mean, the brain really is that, you know, if we talk about like electromagnetism, which is a kind of magical energy, that is the brain. But um, you know, they all relate to different elements, of course. And they all have functions relating to different elements. And by elements, I mean like you know, earth, water, fire, air, etc. And they all dictate, they're like the masters or the rulers of that. And you can think there's like the king and the queen, you know, the masculine and the feminine organ. And um, potentially they even have like, you know, the servants of the organ, so to speak, maybe. Or the ch or children or whatever, you know, any whatever hierarchy we can, we can apply to this. So they are very important. And this these dictate your, your life. I mean, this dictates your life your personality, you know, the kind of person you are, how you look. Um, if you improve your organs and your, these elements relating to them, you will improve certain parts of your life. Maybe we can look at the bagua for that. So here's a little bagua, excuse the low quality. You can see here fire relating to the south. Usually always south is the fire, north is like the water or the winter, you know, summer, um, winter, this would be spring, the east, I think, and this would be um, west, yeah, marsh. So, you know, fame, reputation, but also creativity, and these are all qualities of the heart, the fire, etc. And um, you know, it says career and your path in life, stability, kind of um, root foundation of the body and all that, that relates to the water. Wisdom, you can think that's kind of halfway in between wood and water is wisdom, knowledge, skills. And then of course for wood, it is foundation, family, uh, past, interesting. So I guess that would be um, like status, no, not status though. Uh, I guess status is kind of, no, never mind, that's, that's more fire. It says abundance, prosperity, wealth. So that's kind of halfway between fire and wood. So I guess like reputation and also connections is kind of relating to that. And then relationships, love is halfway between fire and um, metal. And then metal is creativity, children, future, uh, interesting, and then of course, people, travel, blessings, etc., is related to uh, water and metal, kind of halfway in between. So, you know, this is just one, and then earth is, is this physical health, right, in the middle. Also, wealth um, to an extent, and kind of peace of mind, but yeah, good health is um, good earth. You can take it with a grain of salt. Um, you can have to figure these things out for yourself, for your own system. So you can use the astrological system or the seven planets, whatever. Whatever helps you to understand this. But just what I want you to get into your mind is that 
your organs are going to dictate your life and your if you lack in certain areas of your life, you know, you lack in finances, you lack in health, or you lack in maybe status, or you lack in I don't know, friends or family or career or whatever it happens to be, you know, you're lacking in your life, intelligence and such, you know. You can improve the organs relating to it. And of course, there are metals and herbs and animals and colors and materials and, and exercises and numbers even relating to these qualities um, and these things in life and these organs, right? And the more you, you kind of get closer to those is the more you will... Um, begin to strengthen and to tonify them and, you know, of course, my method is more on your physical exercise and then focusing on the organ. You sit in meditation and then you focus on the organ. And by doing that, you're imbuing it with more energy, right? And um, not too strongly, but not too weakly, right? Otherwise, you, you can burn out your organs or, or injure them by focusing too strongly so you've got to be careful and if you don't focus enough you, nothing really happens so that's that's a good method of the tonification anyway to kind of bring it full circle of course just think like maybe if you have an issue it's not exactly you know if you have a water issue maybe you don't have a water issue maybe your earth is not controlling it you look at the controller or the master the earth is a controller of the water the water controls the fire the fire controls the metal metal controls the wood and wood controls the earth maybe the controller is not strong enough so you have you're making too much water in your body you know maybe the fire you're making too much heat you don't have enough your water element isn't strong enough you may be making too much bile, you know, your metal isn't strong enough, etc. Um, so, or you, you have the organ, the water organ is putting too much pressure on the wood, right? Making too much bile, the wood is putting too much pressure on the fire. People get angry all the time and they get red hot, right? Um, well, down here is what people who get depressed and isolate themselves. Maybe the metal puts too much pressure on the water, or you have a, you know, these are weak, right? So that is the elements, um, and the, which are the organs. Work on your organs and work on your life. Anyway, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day. And of course, check the links in the description for social and commercial stuff if you want. Uh, of course, goodbye.